other women. I'm not no, belittling them. I, you're allowed to be a feminist. I'm not telling you, 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 don't, you can be a feminist. You could buy a pussy hat if you left today, and I wouldn't mind. I've never had an issue with people that are feminists. I have an issue when people tell me that I now have to be a feminist or that it's complete bullshit when I say that I, I think it's harmful to keep telling men that masculinity is wrong. Masculinity is a component of being a man. I think a society needs and thrives on strong men. There's never been a society without strong men. There's never been a society without strong men. And I, because I support that, you're, you're upset and you're calling bullshit. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with strong men? Why does that make you upset? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Cook. This meets modern British feminist students, okay? I call him Charlie Cook because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. I just so deeply object to a lot of what you're saying, but... At the root, I feel like there's a clear misunderstanding about the the core values of feminism. You're saying that it's it's bitter women, or that that it's not allowing men to be men anymore, or demonizing masculinity. I just I really don't agree with. I don't think there's any value in in kind of glorifying toxic masculinity that that we have now with with making it seem as though being being a violent man or or anything like that is 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 appropriate I, I think it's really damaging would you be able to phrase it as a question sorry for the panel oh uh, <laughs> okay a couple, like, okay I can say a couple of things back and we can have a discussion about this so um, first and foremost you started by saying I feel like it's really important that we know what you think like because a, a big problem is that people are thinking or are, are feeling and they're not really thinking anymore secondly you brought up to toxic masculinity I believe toxic masculinity exists but it exists inside of radicalized feminists mm. right um, where they're thinking that they should be able to own and control society because they're marching in the street with pussy hats um, and, and saying that they demand justice is for a free and fair election like they did with Donald J. Trump. I don't like this trend where, you're, where we're trying to turn men, and, and you call it, this, masculinity is, is masculinity. I like masculinity. Masculinity is actually the one thing that saved me in life. I was grateful to have my grandfather who was the strongest example of what it means to be a man, right? And because of that, having that structure, it actually saved me because he taught me personal responsibility. He taught me to have a relationship with God, right? Mm. And yes, he's a, he's a man's man. He did everything with his hands. He worked on a sharecropping farm from the time he was five years old. Today, that archetype of what a man is, is being taught that, that there's something wrong with it, that there's something that's implicitly violent about being a man, and that's wrong. And, and, it's, it's, and I think the people that are harmed the most by it, by the way, are women. Women are harmed the most. When you break down men and strong fathers, we are the ones that suffer the most. True. And also, can I just say that, you know, men, men commit suicide at faster rates than women. Women actually live longer than men. Um, most men are actually in prison, and most men, um, more than women, are homeless. So... Women graduate more in, in, yeah, more, from college. More women well, in, in what way are we suffering? What statistic do you feel that women are suffering and, and men aren't? Because there sh I, might be a meninist. There might need to be a meninism movement. You have a female prime minister. I would just say, I mean, there's a lot of things to address there. But to begin with, what you say about having a strong uh, grandfather, a male figure, if you're saying that you've internalized these things, these messages that he taught you, then then surely there's nothing inherently masculine about about those those qualities. I mean, I don't understand how you're defining masculinity. I don't understand how you you're defining it. Yeah, why don't you, yeah, why don't you define it? Why don't you define it? Because you're the one that thinks, like, so you should define what masculinity means to you. Well, I mean, it depends. I would say masculinity now, obviously, just being a social construct, literally nothing more than a set of expectations that are placed on someone. So then how can you call it, if it's a social construct, how can you call it toxic? Because social constructs can be toxic. If, if, if you if have a patriarchal society that is sending a message that men need to be dominant or they need to be, I know you don't like the word violent, but I think there's something violent about it. Uh, about masculinity? No, uh, about about the sort of masculinity that that we have now, this this toxic... What, what makes, sort? What makes that a construct, though? In order for something to be a construct, it has to begin as a norm, which a majority amount of people follow a majority it doesn't. of if people you have, if you have a have patriarchal to, society that is sending messages that men need to possess certain qualities and i believe the qualities that they're that they're suggesting should be adopted are are, are bad what which quality i just need to know what exactly you've seen when you've said that is an example of toxic masculinity i think um 
men feeling that they need to dominate spaces physically and speaking over women, <laughs> interrupting women, belittling yeah, them. Yeah. Do you see how good I'm being? I, I mean, you can... So uh, if just, a qu just, a, just a question. So uh, you just said int when men interrupt and dominate spaces, were you a toxic feminist when you interrupted me when I was on stage? No, I was interrupting something. I'm just asking. That I fundamentally don't believe it. I'm, I'm just asking because you're saying that somebody interrupting someone is now a symbol of toxic masculinity. You just interrupted me on stage. So are you a toxic I wasn't feminist? I was interrupting you because I didn't. You went bullshit. Yeah, because you were talking bullshit. bullshit. Because you were talking bullshit. I didn't interrupt you because you're a woman. I interrupted you because I didn't maybe. believe what, I'm sa what you were saying. It's not that I didn't believe but what you were saying. But maybe that's what men do sometimes. Is it possible that men sometimes your, interrupt because they disagree with what women are saying and not because they're to toxic masculinity in the air? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Is that you're coming up with terms and sometimes people just interrupt. I'm fine with the fact that you're interrupting me. I, it happens all the time and I'm not holding that against you. I'm just using it to prove a point that you've created an entire concept around when men interrupt women, but you literally just interrupted me and you don't identify as yourself as a toxic feminist. No, because I interrupted you on the basis that I didn't agree with the politics you're espousing, both of you. Well, maybe men not are because disagree, I don't disagree with what, what you're saying. saying. Because you're a woman. The, the fact that you're a woman is completely irrelevant to me. But maybe but it's irrelevant to men as well when, they're in, when they interrupt people. That's men interrupt other men, men interrupt That's women. That's not the case. There's a culture of men's voices being valued more than women. How, what so is your metric for give this? Give us one piece of data. Yeah, one. like a data. Any, any piece of data. You can't just say there's a culture of men interrupting yeah, women. Thank you. What, what's, your what's your data point well, for this? Any kind of interpretivist data where you're looking at, at interactions, at dynamics, you can see. I mean, what do you want me to say? Like a like a, a fact? Yeah. <laughs> any fact? Any kind of. How, how about the stuff on the news? A recent sort of huge cultural example, maybe. So can, I, can I ask a question? Do you think we live in a patriarchy? Yes. Why do women live longer than men? Why are men more likely to commit suicide? Why do women compose you, fifty you, plus percent of college Why do we graduates? control eighty nine percent of the of, of the spending power within households if men are the ones that are going out and, and making all of the money because as we women like to say? Have the sole responsibility of caring for the house and the children. So, so it's a patriarchy working. that allows women a lot of responsibility. Within a household, within a certain sphere, not not a powerful one. The household is then, not. Then why a are majority sphere. of business startups women, majority of master's degrees, so, and majority of doctor's and also, degrees can in I the say states? The thing about women living longer. Married women live the least long. Unmarried women live longest because they do not have the responsibilities, the emotional labor of being Marriage is emotional labor. Pardon? Marriage is emotional labor for women. And that's... that's <laughs> what, no, no because, because the way that women uh, support men, like... It's a huge well, thought. We live in they a patriarchy. support each other. I'm saying, no, they don't. No, they don't. I'm talking But so about this is sort of, I appreciate the discussion that we're having. This is, the, you're such a perfect reason for why I, why I just, I could emotion. never be a feminist. No because facts. everything that you're, I just couldn't. I, it's like, you don't really know why you're calling it toxic. You did the no, exact I same do. thing, but you decided exactly that when men I'm interrupt, it it's because you're a woman. But you decided no, that when you not. interrupt, it's just because you had a differing you opinion. You for one example. I know, I know, I know. And then you and say stuff about the marriage and breakdown as an emotional labor. There are women, just so you know, that aspire to get married and have children and stay at home and raise good okay. children. And I that's agree. okay. So, but why are you not making it seem like that puts us in a position that's less than man? Create, that's to, want to create a society? Be the, peop, the person that raises every individual that's in society. Feminism has made it seem like there's something wrong with being a mother, that there's something wrong with being a wife. And everything that you just said is that. You have. It's not emotional labor. I, I want to have children. I want to raise my children. I don't want to. I don't want to be the CEO of a company and 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 not have a husband. And that's not what I aspire to. And that's why feminism is having a hard time with a lot of women who are realizing that when they give up everything that they naturally want in life to be a feminist, they end up miserable and alone. Thank you. With a cut. I, I'm not. No, I'm not. Please no, don't tell me that I'm sitting here because I'm, I'm, I'm standing. I'm, I'm, st I'm sitting here because I worked you'll, hard. You'll I was next. personally responsible. <laughs> I'm not sitting here because of feminism. No, I, I am not sitting here because of any feminist. Well, trust me. So can I? Can I ask? Yeah, it, am I, is, can a man? Yeah, but ask feminism a question? is supposed to be about choice, and what radical feminism <laughs> is actually doing is taking away that choice and making it's women feel not. bad it's about wanting to maybe be the traditional um, view of what a woman is. There's nothing wrong with having a choice to do both, I don't really understand your point. No, I agree. Feminism isn't, isn't trying to destroy the family. Women can happily be mothers and they can be You just said it's emotional wise. labor to be married. It is. In some way, there is an imbalance where men it's are It's not. I don't feel that way. So does that make which one of us is less of a woman? We have different opinions. 
what do you mean, which of us is less You're also, saying that it is, and I'm true. saying that it's not. We have a differing opinion, and the reason why I don't like feminism is because it basically tells us that we have to feel this way, no, that we have to feel no, bitter towards it's men, towards husbands, so towards marriage, towards children, choices. and that's why I'm trying to let you know the feminist movement is considered very radicalized because there are many women, especially conservative women, who just don't feel that way. We don't feel burdened by children and marriage. Not, I mean, Can I give you some facts, though, to support this? No? You don't want to hear from a man? Okay. <laughs> Wait, you see how just things get really dangerous and you start to generalize men and women all of a sudden, like you did? I just wanted to continue the conversation that I was okay, having Okay, you could talk Candace. to Candace. Without you I'll talk, we'll talk about facts, facts later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, under I understand that, that some women want a family and they want to be mothers. I completely respect that. But all feminism is doing is telling you that you do have a choice. And I don't believe radical feminism is pushing women into, into hating the family. It's just suggesting that, that maybe this doesn't have to be your lot. And some women have internalized values that make them think that this is what they want when, when really they might not. So you can I really do it. want a husband and children one day. Okay, so, but but what I'm saying to you is that. the reason why I don't like feminism is because feminists think feminism is mandatory. The second you find out that a girl doesn't identify as a feminist, you're, you're up here and you're asking a bunch of questions. I don't like the feminist movement. I think it's become very toxic and very hostile towards men. If Thank you, you believed in the equality that men and that women should be able to think whatever we wanted, you wouldn't be debating me right now, you'd say, well, more power to you because you'd be a true feminist, but you're not. I you're trying to... I think that you're belittling other women. I'm not, not belittling them. I, not you're allowed to be a feminist. I'm not telling you, 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 don't, you can be a feminist. You could buy a pussy hat if you left today, and I wouldn't mind. I've never had an issue with people that are feminists. I have an issue when people tell me that I now have to be a feminist or that it's complete bullshit when I say that I, I think it's harmful to keep telling men that masculinity is wrong. Masculinity is a component of being a man. I think a society needs and thrives on strong men. There's never been a society without strong men. There's never been a society without strong men. And I, because I support that, you're, you're upset and you're calling bullshit. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with strong men? Why does that make you upset? I just think that the values, you referenced the Gillette advert. All it was saying was, the message was fundamentally just, just, Stop being violent. Just no, it no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it, in no, your view, little toddlers, there were, there were boys do, will be boys. Boys tend to be reckless. They tend to punch each other and wrestle each other. That's a healthy, necessary part of the child development process. Trying to demonize that in the parental guidelines that Gillette was trying to have in a thirty-second to a minute ad is toxic feminism is toxic attacking feminism. toxic masculinity. So let me give you some examples, super quick. So you say that's not what feminism wants. The predominant viewpoint in the university now in the States and the UK is an anti-male posture, whether it be papers that literally say abolish men, whether it be books that say the problem with men. You're looking at me funny. The Huffington Post publishes at least a weekly piece that says that men should have a less powerful Cancel role in society. Cancel white men. Cancel white men is a common theme. The, the Me Too movement... Oh, so you agree with it? Okay. They have the men have done, wait, wait, done a lot of stuff. They've won every single war, every freedom that we have can in you society what is because you just of said? men. I said it's because white men have historically done so much shit. They're just asking so you, you to stop. So you do agree with the anti-male posture. So your no, true I radical don't. feminism don't comes out after ten minutes of cross-examination. Before you said I have no problem with men. Now you now said it's because you white do. men have done a lot of shit. Yeah, now we get to revealing who you really yes, are, but which that is, is what a feminism hateful, is. angry person. They just hate men. There is no other no, platform. They don't, they don't hate men. They're just, you just there's said no problem. There is no problem with, with, with analyzing the actions of men in history and condemning them. You mean like what about all the good ones? What about all the good ones? Freedom. So that, that, that's wrong. We can't do that. Like defeating the Nazis? All, all people, men who had adventures, anything that men have invented, we can't, we can't use anymore. Slavery so wasn't ended in America because uh, no, women were fighting. negatives. It's complete hyperbole. What about all of the good? What about all, all the good things? Everything that we have in society, every war that was fought and won was because of men. Do you ever well, think half about the that? Wars were unnecessary anyway. I mean, wars but they happened. Fought and now we're spiraling. <laughs> yeah, now we're spiraling. But, but they happened men too. <laughs> so what they won was that they started unnecessarily. Yeah, women have never started wars, but you know, wars have never been fought over women in this country. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened, Henry VIII. <laughs> right. What's the point? Because he was an adulterer. I mean, that's a terrible example. Do you think that, that, that women, let me ask you a question. Do you think women can do, have example. done anything wrong or that women can do anything wrong? Like, would you be, have been okay if there was like a, 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 shick, a strict razor commercial, like about toxic femininity? Would that have been okay with you? Tell me what you think toxic, toxic femininity Accusing is. men of things that never happen and yeah. calling it sexual like assault. Like Brett Kavanaugh? Yeah. He is an awful man and a rapist. 
Wait, he's a what? He's, he's an, an honorable awful man. man. An Hon awful man. Honorable. I said awful. Prove it. What? He he. he yeah, facts. Game one fact of anything awful he's ever done. He raped someone because mean, she because she said so. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, hold evidence. on. Because she said that so. That wasn't even that wasn't even a trial in a court. It was in front of a. So why isn't there a trial in the court? Why yeah. didn't she go file it? Why didn't she file a police report? Because she there was no the evidence. Date, time, place, no witnesses. We have this culture, this toxic culture where women are the same the culture. These okay. people like Jesse Smollett then faking a hoax because you know you have to Bingo. be a victim. You no, know, no, you can't. You can't then sit here and say that without facts that you can say he's a rapist. But then Jesse Smollett can get away with saying there was people shouting, "This is Trump country. We're going to beat you up." Without facts, you either have facts or both, or you can't just leave them. To do that okay, because can I he ask wants you, to start a race war. Can I, just, I want to ask you a last question. Each other. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think, so now we're getting, like, now this is why I don't support feminism, by the way. You, so you, do you believe in the concept that women should just be believed absent facts? Because that, that's, that was the Christine Blasey Ford thing. There was not a single fact. Do you think that women should be believed absent facts if they say that they were raped and assaulted? Not without fact, but I think there should be a culture of belief. If someone comes forward and says, a man or a woman mm -hmm. comes forward and says something has happened to them, that they should be given the time to, to be heard and to, she to was speak heard. of their she experience. Okay, but I, not I just want to... Not by a court, not by a judge, law. not by legal professionals. Why didn't she submit a police report? Time. She, she still hasn't. Because there is a culture of disbelief because she was in an But she had no position. evidence. There's no statute of limitations for rape in Maryland. She could file a police report today. It's because she made up the entire thing. No, she didn't. What, so why doesn't she know the time, the place, no corroborating witnesses? Her story changed eight times. None of her friends said it ever happened or she ever talked about it once before. Everything about her life story changed at least six times. And, and I, two of the women that came forward and said that something happened are actually under criminal conviction for making up the entire thing they never met her once before. This was a con job to try to displace United States Supreme Court It was a political justice. hit job. It really was. But I do want to say this to you and something for you to just consider because I think we should wrap this up because I, I don't think you're ever going to not be a feminist and I'm never going to be one, right? Um, but it's really important when you start getting into that slippery slope of believe women and I talk about this particularly to minority America because we've learned our lesson the hardest with this and I think radicalized feminism when I did a um, an interview, I said it was the closest thing to white supremacy I've ever seen is radicalized feminism. The concept of just believing a woman because she said something is the direct thing that led to all of our ancestors getting mm. lynched in America. When white women would just say that something happened, okay, and, and we were supposed to magically believe it, our ancestors were then chased after, put into cars, Emmett Till, everything that happened in America happened because white women should just be believed. So you will never, ever, ever hear me stand behind a radicalized concept like just believe women because they're crying. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to Thank us you. today. Thank you. Would you like to say something? Okay, this was really, really interesting. Uh, I feel the lady herself, she's, she have hatred for men. She's angry with me. Like there's no way. She's just hiding her main character, as what Aunt Charlie said. She hates men. She's using the word feminism to cover it. She hates men, personally. Because it's obvious. Number one, she's a hypocrite. She said men exhibit toxic um, attributes when they interrupt with people, when they're having conversations. So Candace was like, you actually interrupted me when I'm having a conversation. You said bullshit. So she you call her a toxic woman? She said, not in that way. She naturally interrupts. So when it comes from a man, it's toxic. But when it comes from you, it's not toxic. She's really a hypocrite and she's, she's, she's twisted. She, like, she's not, she's, she doesn't have a, a point straight. She just hates men like with passion. <laughs> she's that word. She hates men with passion. She's saying some words that I kind of like trying to, I'm trying to get it and see from my own point of view. But at the same time, like, I see hatred. I see hatred. I see someone who, who, who just don't want men at all. I don't know if someone hurts her or something like that, but she really have a really bitter side for men. It's, it's showing in her character the way she was answering the questions, the way, she, the way she acted. Like, it was showing, and I love how Charlie was able to see it, like, once. He saw it and said, you hate me. You are angry with me. Someone did something to her. She's just using the word feminism to cover the whole narrative, but she's really angry and she's feeling hot. That is just it. But at the same time, she's she's really, really um lenient. I'll use that. She's very, very, very lenient. At least she knows her um some stats, right? <laughs> During the conversation. And I love how Candace handled her perfectly. Candace handled her like a real woman. So she used the word like um Women uh, that get married and give birth are uh, passing through emotional labor. 
What the hell is that? They're passing through emotional labor. She see she see marriage as a whole and motherhood as suffering, torture. Like I don't know why she sees it that way. I don't know what she has been through or what she has experienced, but she's she's confused. I'll use that word. She's confused, and she's trying to pull a lot of women to her own narrative about this feminism aspect. This is why people hate feminism. This is why I I, I don't believe in that narrative or even kind of always a Charlie kick because. Feminism is teaching you how to, number one, hate men. Number two, feel like you can become a CEO without a husband and you can live your life without a husband, whereas majority of people who live such life end up miserable and lonely. They just feel like men should not control them. Uh, any, any woman that is married or having children uh, under a man, they are being controlled. That's how they see other women. That are married, uh, have children, and living happily with their husband. They're they being controlled, they're being forced, they're being undermined. They're just feminism. They see them, they see women in that narrative. This such a lady like this, that's how they're seeing other women. And that is bad. That is not true. There's, it's, it's, it's really, really hurtful that I, I see someone who despises men in such a way that this lady hates men. And she's really angry with them. And she, she, just don't want to accept the fact that men will keep on existing. This entire video was um, interesting to watch. I enjoyed it. I love the intense, the beats. Also, the black man. I call him a black man. The black man sitting there. That's the other lady that was sitting there. Candace Owens and Charlie Kirk. They are all amazing, guys. They are all amazing. I love how they handled the situation beautifully. And um, this this is beautiful to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all